PS2 for game one. Yeah. Uh, that was talking before about how it's going to be really tricky for a stretch to, because he is a player that loves to capitalize on tiny bits of advantage, mm -hmm. uh, and it's so hard to do that against numbers. Yeah, I feel I like. Mean, I feel how do you even? How do you even like actually push advantage against John numbers? Well, um, you can you can always threaten John, you know, in the space, right? Make him uncomfortable and come out of shield. Stretch does have the advantage with Lucina and her range, so that's something he could definitely use. But right now he's kind of um, running into John, and John already tacked on like a quick 71% the game he started. And now deep breathing is in effect. This means that every hit does so much more damage. He's already at 100, just like that. No jump off stage. That's gonna be it. Wow. Was that deep breathing forward air? Yeah, yeah, no, that, yeah, that, that was, was like the last yeah, yeah, limit forward frames of deep breathing, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. She'll pretty much always be in the state of Kyle Ken. Yeah, you know, John. You know, John um, just pushing advantage right now, and it just seems like Stretch is struggling, like you said, to generate um, a comfortable offense. But right now, Stretch has him on the defensive, and see what we could do while he's at the ledge. All right. Oh man, John, like the micro spacing that this guy is able to do. Good job with him. still having his jump. He was able to completely clear that sun. But now the issue is, how does he take the stock? You know, because he's been hitting him with these tiny pokes, the down tilts, the forward airs. But he needs to actually kill John Numbers. Otherwise, he's just going to take advantage of the rage and slam back into his face. Yeah, the problem is you kind of have to you kind of have to poke away at John's defensive wall, and you have to find out what works. And right now, Stretch isn't finding out what, what works very well because he's um, right now he's in the preview pole. 24% off that uh, forward smash. And that was probably suboptimal. <laughs> like, if numbers wanted to, he could have maybe gotten even more damage than that. that and, and, okay, so you know why that wow. was really unfortunate? Because Stretch went for that up B um, to the ledge, and that would have been an untackable at that percent. That was under 54%, would have got um, a technical stage spiked, and instead he got clipped by the hula hoops and then put himself at a disadvantage. Uh, you know, tragic turn of events at the end, at, at the end game. Right? So I mean, so what do you think? Uh, what do you think Stretch is gonna be game two? Uh, oh, it looks like you know, Stretch is just smashed. Though. Um, I think the big thing is getting, because he was able to hit John when he was on ledge, and in the end he was starting to figure that out. But they need to be meaningful. So getting the stock is gonna be huge, and maybe you know try and find that one glaring thing where it's just like, now I go for forward smash, and now the forward smash is going to work, and it is finally going to take this stock so that I don't have to play from behind anymore. Yeah, and you know, you know what is funny enough? Um, I feel like Stretch is being very aggressive right now, and he's kind of running into a lot of John's, John's um, buttons. And, you know, the thing about John in Smash 4 was you have to overwhelm him at the ledge and make him, you know, feel uncomfortable. But right now, John is very comfortable playing in the middle of the stage and playing neutral. And he's not retreating to the ledge like you would normally see. And I think that, I think stretching to adapt a little bit to that strategy. And I, I just want to point out, there are so many ways that John Numbers just knows his character so well. Yeah, he, he placed the soccer ball so that when he up-tilted it, he just caught an extra hit lag so he was able to punish it. <laughs> like, it's just the, the intelligence that this guy has. Ooh, but yeah. that was a really big one. I don't know if he has a jump he does he makes it back to the ledge just fine and yeah i feel like stretch did not want to do that standard get up right there probably did try to do um a ledge hop anything and um didn't see doing that oh he went for that early up yeah i think he was intending to counteract like a an aggressive option from um, but john just went back to ledge and was more than well uh welcome to just punish that yeah now some conditioning coming out from john because john previously hit him with a bunch of forward airs and um, yeah, just like that, you know, John's up again, three stocks to one. He hasn't, Stretch has not been able to take a single stock yet. He hasn't figured out how to do it against numbers. Maybe, okay, I think that that might be a way to go, is instead of going for off, like putting him on ledge, get him above the juggle. Yeah. Uh, go for up airs more. I think that's sort of what he's trying to go for. Oh, yeah, and, and so, like, the main problem is he's trying to do that, but he, uh, he's pressing a lot. He's pressing a lot in John's face, and, um, He's not really getting a lot of payoff right now. And uh, right now, John's just taking advantage of it. Still not enough. I think that neutral air might be a really good move right <laughs> I don't, he did not want to do that. Yeah, stretch. Yeah, that, that looked like he, a lot of I misinputs. I think he just wanted to take the stock and he thought that would kill. No, I, it was definitely a lot of misinputs on Stretch's part towards the end of game two. You could tell by his facial expressions. Um, he definitely tried to be back to the ledge and tried, probably went, wanted to go for another Wait, are guard. you saying you never do the thing where you go for an option, it was stupid, it doesn't work, and then you make a face as if that isn't what you wanted to do? 